Hi, welcome to this video. What am I doing sitting here? I have uh, so much to do. I have so much. Let's go. Today we're doing something weird to our hair. Genuinely, it is um, something I've never tried before, something that I didn't think I would ever try before, but I've come to the realization that I am losing my edge. Getting kind of safe with what I create, I realize that it is absolutely not the kind of person that I want to be. I want to be the person that encourages you guys to try the new thing, so if I myself don't try them, I am useless. I am breaking my own kind of legacy, and today I'm doing a split dye. I'm not going to lie, I don't know how prepared I am for this video. First of all, it's going to be a hell of a long process. I am excited for it, but I also haven't done one of these types of processes in a, in a while. Today I'm dyeing half my hair pink and half my hair violet. That is something I've never done in my life before. I've never done a split dye before. So let's do it! Yes! I have a ton of dyes here, actually. I'm so excited because I get to try new products and that is always so much fun for me. Yeah! This video is in partnership with Splat. Once more, um, it is an American-based hair dye brand. I've worked with them before. I actually created one of my favorite looks with their dyes before, the magenta look. It was vibrant. It was so, so pigmented and rich. Like, there are some colors that just don't, don't deliver that, and, and that did. So when Splat reached out wanting to collaborate once more, um, I was like, heck yeah. I picked up these colors from their line. This is the Splat Ombre Rain color box. It features two colors, Pink Mist and Violet Storm, and it is a long-lasting color. Basically, this is a one-box procedure where you get both colors in the box. So I'm hoping I'm not going to run out because I have done that mistake in my life before. So I feel good and confident and ready to embark on this freaking journey. This is going to be linked down below. So if you want to get it, you can just literally get the one box and you get the two different colors with it. Here's how it comes inside for every single one of the boxes. You also have instructions on the inside. Instructions, um, you get these gloves with your instructions. And I just, I loved peeling them off when I was younger. I was a box dye baby. When I started my hair coloring thing, obviously I was limited to what I could buy. So I did box dyes. Salon visits can be very pricey. So this is a really fun, cheaper alternative. If you want to dye your hair or change it. Violet dye, you get your pink dye, you get your developer. One other thing that you get in the box is a lightning powder or bleach. These are very, very vibrant colors. And as you could see from the side, it does work best on lighter to super light blondes. So they include bleach so that if you want, you can go ahead and lighten your hair prior to prior to dyeing it. I am going to dye my hair, obviously, violet pink. But as you can clearly tell, currently my hair is still pre pretty vivid blue, as well as I have some pretty dark rooted. So I'm going to bleach it. You mix these together to create a bleaching formula. I just want to lighten this a tiny bit. So even if it ends up with a bit of mint, or if my roots end up still a bit orange, I'm not really going to mind that because these colors are pretty pigmented and they should be able to cover it. Let's mix up everything and then proceed. Everything has already been pre-measured, so all you have to do is literally take all the liquid that is already in here and just add it to the mixture. You literally have to do um, nothing else. Big ass brush. Bon appetit. Well, I'm gonna change really quickly because I kind of value my dress at the moment and I'll be back and we can start this process. I'm just going to spray a tiny bit of water on my hair. Maybe not like douse it, but like have a bit of hydration in there. I do want to be quite quick with my sections because I want it obviously to not lift too much 
but I want it to lift even so bleach is actually thickening up <laughs> thickening up quite a bit so it doesn't remain at like super liquidy consistency I'm so curious to see how long it takes for the color to start changing. My hair is so to leave this on for 30 minutes as the instructions specified then I'm gonna wash it off and we can proceed with the rest of the video okay I'll see you then boom baby wow I was so sure I wasn't gonna see blonde Stella again when I dyed the emerald but it's sort of back now can I tell you a secret I don't actually mind how it's looking I notoriously dis on blonde so much so often I think it's like the most boring color on earth it's not like the worst look on me if you know what I'm saying let me know if you agree but as you can see the bleach did a great job of removing most of like the darker brighter tones and now everything is pretty much the same level well this this is actually quite a bit lighter than my roots I kind of match my dog at the moment I love you you know that you're so weird, you don't know what's going on. Mm. Okay, bye-bye. Grab the rest of the dyes. <sighs> I do want to put quite a Halloween spin on this look because Halloween is kind of around the corner. It's still a while away, but I do kind of want to experiment. So I think even for like the final look, I'm going to try some new thing. The really good thing about these is that these are semi-permanent colors which means that you need to mix them with nothing. You can go straight from this onto the hair if you so wish. Once again I am going to be using two bowls for the two separate colors but it literally is as easy as grabbing the brush and the dye directly from here and putting it on your hair. One side being the pink and one side being the violet. I use three of the four of each colors that I have, so if I run out, I have one more. I suppose. You guys are shocked as me that I'm doing purple. I was pretty shocked in my going today. Now I need to do my middle parting. There, your cream go on your ears because if you're anything like me you're going to stain them the first chance you have it back of your head if the light is not in the middle of my head it's fine I don't care because I can't see it thank you I just know you're not judging me right now you're like this girl doesn't know how to do the middle party uh looks like a straight line to me that looks okay so far if it doesn't don't point it out I get hurt my feelings get hurt I'm a sensitive person <laughs> ignore that okay now I'm gonna do this one really quickly so on the off chance that I hit my parting with pink at least i'll be a layer of purple to like catch it so i can see anything 
Oh, great. Okay, now I'm going to do the entire style, kind of, as I normally do. I'm going to start with pink and then do purple. Okay, great. Great! Wait. First side is done and I'm too lazy to wash my gloves, so. There's nothing that says autumn and Halloween like dark freaking hair. I missed it. What? What's the, what's all this? Why am I like this? I kind of want to show you my legs, but I'm not wearing any pants. I need to start cleaning myself off. It sounds disgusting. I'll see you soon with funky hair, hopefully. I'm excited. I am excited. I am. Oh, I am. Oh. <laughs> I stained my nails really badly. This hand was all pink and this hair was like lilac and now it's there. they look like this. We're going to jump straight into makeup. I have something really, really fun planned and then something even more fun planned for hair. So I'm going to do my makeup and then uh, proceed with the hairstyle that I have in mind before showing off the final Halloween-ish inspired look. Officially redact my previous announcement that I would not be trying a split dye and that I did not like split dyes. I also want to redact my statement saying that I dislike purple. This has to be one of my favorite looks I ever tried. I genuinely did not think this would turn out like this or rather that I would enjoy it like this because it's one thing to imagine something especially when you have not tried it and then a completely other thing to like see it firsthand. Oh my god! Half purple, half pink hair. Went for like a very much mother nature sort of a vibe. Even the entire like curling of the hair is kind of giving me that. So this is it. This is the look. It is by far one of my favorite ones. The perfect one I think to move into fall. It is, it is still in keeping with like warm colorful tones but it also incorporates darker more kind of moodier tones i just i like it i like everything about it all the product details god i mean look at how how on point the colors are they are they are them they are exactly what's on the box obviously you can take the root of 
of this lovely lady or you can take my roots half and half. If you want to, I'm going to be linking this down description box below. Um, as I mentioned, it did come with literally everything you need, including bleach if your hair is darker, obviously if it's blonde or lighter, um, you absolutely can skip that step, but they do include that in the box itself, along with obviously the dyes. So yeah, every single thing is going to be linked down below. So if you want to give this a go, which I highly recommend it, thank you to Splat for collaborating with me once again and sponsoring this video. I, once again, I'm really, really impressed with how the product performed. That is literally, you know, spot on to what it's um, advertising. So I'm really, really happy with that. And obviously my hair feels freaking lush. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope, you know, you enjoyed it. I'm wishing you a very happy Halloween. Feel free to subscribe to see more weird things. I am actually planning one final weird thing this month. Actually, it's gonna be quite a ballsy thing if I do it. So, you know, stay tuned for that. So feel free to subscribe and I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you'll give it a go. And I'll see you in my next video. <gasps> Bye. What does it look like? Ooh.